As temperatures warm up, it is never too early to prepare for animals and insects that may carry disease. News 8's Amanda Porter talked with an expert from the state health department about how to stay safe from illnesses that mosquitoes and ticks can carry. It's a little early in the season, but mosquitoes and ticks will be coming out in full force on warm days like today and definitely after Memorial Day. There are a number of things people can do to prevent a disease from a mosquito or a tick bite. Mosquitoes can infect a person with multiple different diseases. In Michigan, we have more than 60 different mosquito species. So in Michigan specifically, we are concerned about West Nile virus, Eastern equine encephalitis virus. Those are our two main concerns. When the weather is above um, 40 degrees, you can expect some mosquito and tick activity. Mosquito-borne illnesses have to be transmitted with a bite. They can be found everywhere, but standing water is a breeding ground. They can be found in backyards, they can be found in woods, they can be found in swamps, they can be found in cities. Some mosquitoes are active during dawn or dusk. So wearing long sleeves and tucking your pants in will protect you more in the long run because the least amount of skin showing, the better. No bugs can bite you. Plus, ticks won't be able to attach themselves to your skin. There's also repairing things like screens around your homes and dumping water containers on your home. And this can range from things like bird baths, um, outdoor pet bowls, let's say, almost any sort of water holding container you can think of. And this can be something like bulky toys that are stored outdoors. How many mosquito bites would a person need to get for them to be worried about contracting Triple E or West Ooh, Nile? Yeah, so that's a very interesting question. And so you can get a disease from just one mosquito bite. And since mosquitoes are very sly and most often people don't see mosquitoes biting them, that's why I really want to bring home the message of protecting yourself from mosquito bites as much as you can. Symptoms for West Nile include fever and unusual neurological symptoms, like struggling to find words. Animals can also be bitten by mosquitoes and ticks. There are vaccines for West Nile and Triple E for horses. There's not for humans. So again, on the human side, it's very important to um, prevent mosquito bites. Ticks also bite and carry Lyme disease. So it's best to carefully examine yourself and pets after being outdoors. What I recommend is when you have spent time in um, shaded wooded environments where ticks are present, after you finish your time outdoors, put your clothes in the dryer for at least 10 minutes, and that would kill whatever ticks are crawling on your clothes, and then go over into your bathroom and take a shower, and that's the opportunity to really thoroughly check yourself for ticks. So most repellents are designed for mosquitoes and ticks. We have more information and links to the Environmental Protection Agency's Find a Repellent Tool on woodtv.com.